Hello and welcome to another episode of Funk's Garage. Today, I'm gonna to see if I can fix this TV. What you can see on here is we've got what appears to be bad LEDs behind it. So what we're gonna to have to do is take the back panel off, take the LCD off the front, get all the way down to the LEDs, get those out, and then try and replace them with a new set. Hopefully that fixes the issue. Just like the previous video, we're gonna start by removing the back panel. Next, we're going to work on getting the bezel off by removing all the screws from the tabs on these sides. The next part I'm going to start working on is getting the shield that covers the driver boards for the LCD covered. You'll see me pull those out and tape those to the top of the screen right here. I do not recommend using these suction cups that I attempted to use as they ended up backfiring a bit on me. You can see here, it seemed to be working all right. The next moment, one released on me. I nearly broke the screen. After realizing the mistake, we just handled it and put it over on the blanket just by hand. After that, we're done removing the retention clips that hold down the backlight diffuser. Once those are finished, I put the diffuser and its various layers off to the side. After that, I worked on trying to get all the push pins out from the back screen. I did test each one of these LED strips. Most of them were okay, but I decided that it would be best to go ahead and replace every one of the LEDs at the same time. As I started installing each one of the LED strips, I would test and mount down the LED strips themselves, glove them together and make sure they worked on each side. Once all the LED strips were in, I went ahead and tested the entire panel. Once that worked, I went ahead and started putting everything back together, which is mostly just a reverse process of tearing it all apart. One thing I did clean while I had this out was the edges because there was quite a bit of gunk built up along the edge right where the bezel would mount and I didn't want to try to clean that while I was up on the wall. go we took a broken TV turned it into a working one relatively cheap fix spent about a hundred dollars on the LEDs for the backlight kit went ahead and replaced all of them so you don't have to mess with it really the only thing left to do is mount it on the wall clean it up the face of the screen here but I'm gonna wait till it's on the wall to do that so Successful restoration of a free TV that was headed for the junkyard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.